As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. <laughs> they don't take Lenny seriously. Hi, hello. Featherless here. I'm back. After the sadness of last episode. We went from little girls showing their panties to being sad about our relationship. <laughs> Which really threw me for a curve, and I'm real upset about it. <laughs> Let me see. What we are going to do, I have things at camp. People, camp people need attending to. Who is it? Hosea? Or it is um, Mary Beth? Who even is Mary Beth? <laughs> Let's go talk to Hosea. <laughs> so sad. I'm still so sad. Wait, Arthur was like, you know, he actually wanted to. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go see my one of my many dads. <laughs> I have many adopted fathers, you know. God, it's so bright. What the fuck? I'm going into heaven? Did I die or something after the theater? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Not a problem, I'm looking at you. Good god, if you rob me or try anything, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna blow your head off with my sawed off shotgun. Here you go. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Special snake it's nice oil. to give something instead of just begging. I hate Barney. asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Barney, don't stand on the train tracks, you uh. fucking idiot. Barney! Uh. Okay, we got done dealing with that guy. Sorry, I just have to show you all that I'm such a good person. Barney. I do things like that because if I don't, then my reputation will go to hell. <laughs> Because I do so much bad shit in between all these good things, you know. So I have to <laughs> I have to be good every now and then, or else, or else I become bad. Hello, chat. It's so bright. Oh my god. Yeah. Damn. How am I supposed to see? He. Go back to camp. Really bright out. And I have a feeling this place stinks. Yep. <laughs> Fucking got him. I got an achievement for that. Five out of five horseback rabbit kills. No way I got an achievement. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I never fail to impress. <laughs> but our camp is so far away from town. Back up in Rhodes, it was like around the corner. <laughs> Here, but actually, you know, go somewhere is so much work. <laughs> Damn, the sunset and everything. Sorry guys for coming home late. I was out on a hot date. Who goes there? Hi. It's Arthur! Okay. What's up? Isaiah. Let me check my map real quick. Oh, I have the option to rob a coach with Lenny. That might be fun. I really like Lenny. I want to do that first. I really like Lenny. He's he's my younger brother. 
<laughs> we do be dumb like that. We've gone into some weird shit. <laughs> I've seen some weird shit with Lenny, but like he's goaded. Lenny! Let's go! Also, robbing coaches is like a staple of what we do, so I have to do it. Jose, I can wait. Hey, Arthur. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? <laughs> Nothing serious. Just a little Good. robbery. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? <laughs> I guess you. <laughs> Thank <Now>? you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no hand holding off of oh, I'll hold your hand all right. Come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. I love this for us. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Oh yeah, yeah, we're the ones no. that cleared out this place. I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. <laughs> oh, you Fair ain't enough. even 20 years old. Your time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead, I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? <laughs> I was just asking all the questions. You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Good. Don't forget, yes, I was chat. on the I've been bawling as of late. <laughs> for three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Ooh, I looked at looked at chapel one second and I immediately rode off the road. <laughs> Me and Lenny, best friends forever. Deserves a bit more to be honest. Like, God, stop chat. You're gonna make me blush. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> this is silly. Oh, can I talk to Lenny? No, he's nothing to say to me. Excuse me. Friends no more. <laughs> you hear this, Lenny? I'm singing a song from the future. Okay, here we are. Lenny, you didn't know I was time traveling. Okay. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Okay. I swear to God, if it pulls up and it's like the hugest fucking protection group we've ever seen in our lives, I'm just gonna hit the 180 and walk away. Act like I was just on the side of the road because I was taking a piss or something. <laughs> there and I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? 
shared wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. <laughs> they don't take Lenny seriously. Oh, Shit. fuck me. U.S. Marshal? That's not fucking good. That's not fucking good. That's the last thing we fucking needed. Oh, no. Not gonna lie, I'm stressing because I'm worried the characters can actually fucking die now. Sean's death has me traumatized. I didn't mean to kill a horse, that's him. I just couldn't see the guy behind there. One oh, hurt. Ow. Fuck, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead yet. Not yet. Not you can't take me down yet. Oops. Oh, I accidentally opened up a, the wrong. That's the wrong thing. Don't. Why am I. Why can't I walk? It's because I'm fucking dying. That's why I can't walk. <laughs> Having issues. Hold on, guys. I'll get there. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, take that tonic. We're fine. We're fine. No need to stress it. is super unprotect unprotected. Fuck you. <laughs> Where's my goddamn hat? Lenny? You alive? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us <laughs> into a trap. Look, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was good information. Okay, it look, really looks like good information to me. Look, look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. <sighs> I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Bye-bye. <laughs> Found loot the buys, help some more lawmen actually don't show up even though they easily could. Not if they do, all I do is just dip again. Dead horse, where's the their bodies out here? I can't see he. Get this guy? No. Okay, whatever. Barney, places to be, things to do. Get your ass over here. Okay, now we'll go back home and talk to Hosea. <laughs> oh, Strauss has something else he wants from me as well. But we're not doing that right now. Fuck Strauss. Hosea! I'm on the wrong road. What's going on up there? Oh. Boats. I saw lights in the distance. I thought it was the KKK again for a second, then I saw it was on the lake, so there's no. I don't know what it was, just a horse? <laughs> we totally killed some great yep. people. Not yeah, yeah. on purpose. <laughs> uh, yeah. You okay, boy? Let's ball. Don't gotta worry about nothing going on. We're balling. We're having a great time. We're gonna go talk about Zay. Everything's fine. Lenny. I love Lenny so much. He's he's the best. <laughs> Some of y'all I could live without. Some of the people at camp I could. What's 
Christmas. That far from camp. What's going on here? Guess we wouldn't have had powder there. There hadn't been no war. Let me get my hat real quick. Oh, and my special bandana. Stay here, Barney. Better keep your eyes open. If anyone comes sightseeing, they get the Lemoyne welcome. Lemoyne Raiders. Y'all are about to get one hell of a Lemoyne welcome. <laughs> Keep the fire on. Moving. <laughs> you can hear the screams. What? What happened? What was that about? Just bawling, okay. Well, that saves me some time. Hi. <laughs> Hi, have a good morning, Javier. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I was not fucking talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his ass. Look at his ass. Ew. Look at his ass. Everything good? I guess. I hope so. Yes, see you later. God, look at this fucker. Look at his ass. Oh my god, that's, you guys are fucking disgusting. Please wipe next time. Holy shit. Literally. <laughs> oh my god. Jose, how can we have this fucking behavior at camp? Do you wipe your ass, Jose? This is disgusting. I can't. I can't work in a gang with people that don't wipe their ass, Jose. We're gonna have to talk. We're gonna have to talk about some rules. <laughs> for the. <laughs> for the <laughs> for Dutch's gang, does he wipe his ass? Does Dutch wipe his what ass? Is that why the other guy doesn't? Because Dutch doesn't, and so he's like, lets everyone else not do it because it's fucking gross. <laughs> Hi, Jose. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, <gasps> sure as shit. We're going partying. Up, so we're doing this. Oh yeah. Old do I get to dress up? Dutch is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion <laughs> is we go and get you a gown. <gasps> oh, oh, son of a bitch. We're gonna go dress up, yes! Oh, give me some glass slippers. <laughs> yes! I'm so excited. I hope Arthur's gonna look so... Oh, it's so fancy! That's so cute! <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. It could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. Is that Bill? What kind of <laughs> We're contact? him too. <laughs> we'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so kind of worried about how legit this is. This is like a trap of some sort, Gentlemen, but Luca, either way, it's fun. Oh my I'm God. afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. <laughs> Only after last year? Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Look at Arthur. I'm so cute. Oh my God. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, Let's hope things actually go well. Be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. 
Senor Napoli? As long as the man behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know. A respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Okay, let's go see Senor Bronte. I wish I had a special top hat. <laughs> I don't. That has to be cooler than us. He's the leader, you know. We need a haircut. We'll look at if there's a barber in town. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. <laughs> See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. Whoa, he that guy's drip. Sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a confederate major in the war, I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. Oh. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> quite a shitty convo. And that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. Yeah, this is so... <laughs> Those sure were the days. You're mad, so <laughs> Good day, I hate gentlemen. this. Oh, Good day the vibes are terrible. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Ok oh, ragazzi, sì. adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. That was the vibes there were terrible. Uh. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Nina. Ciao ciao. Ooh, ooh. Time to join the party now. Gentlemen, Those guys upstairs were kind of mean. That's not my issue. <laughs> ooh. So, are we. I. Okay. I guess I'll go main for the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Hey, Dad. Unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Wait, what? Bill, <laughs> oh, Jose, I get to do the fun things. I have to go talk to the mayor. I don't think I'm well equipped for talking to the mayor of all people, but. Glass of champagne, sir. Have a lovely uh. evening. Ah, get me a bloody drink.
Okay, I'm mingling. Oh, Hector. Good to see you. Okay, he's the one talking about. I should have been paying more attention when they when they mentioned the mayor. I should have remembered exactly how he looks. How are you? How's it going with you? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. What? This intellectual here was just insulting me I'm nervous. I did no such thing. At the shooting one. Good day, sir. How you doing? As well as can be, I suppose. That's the spirit. All the best. The Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. It ain't complex, am you? And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. Mm -hmm. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, cool off? <laughs> Taking him away. Get your hands off me. You know, trying to be cool with the mayor. Get rid of the guy who's pissing him off. Call him a pansy and shit. Don't call the mayor a pansy. Yeah. You know, busy. I scared all those guys. <laughs> See all those back up like that? Ah, oh, the dress is so pretty. Hey guys. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, really? and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 Fireworks? Oh, yay! Oh, my lord, they're fantastic. Arthur Morgan's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh -oh. uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, Cornwall? sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Shit. Oh, remain undetected, huh? So can't have the server follow me. We gotta go find out what's going on with Cornwall, but discreetly. Wow, look at the fireworks. Monsieur? Monsieur? Monsieur, bonjour. Oui, oui. Baguette, croissant. Good job, Arthur. You're so fluent. <laughs> no problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Uh oh. Pinkerton's here, maybe? Federal? Bad law? Actual law people, maybe? Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. They will notice me, guys. Fuck, this is a nice house. <sighs> Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Ooh. I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. Forgive me. I was unaware. Sorry. Fuck. 
I wasn't expecting him to come back out. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. They won't notice. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Damn. Now get out of my sight. Damn. He's going upstairs. Up to go speak with Bronte, maybe? Or just to do whatever the hell he's doing. Because this is where we went to go see Bronte, but there's plenty of other parts in this house. He doesn't decide to come back down. Is he gonna see me? I'm gonna go this way in case he goes back down the stairs. But I he has to leave. If I just go down here, you won't notice, surely. This is where Bronte was. Oh. It's locked. Do I have to Get the guy? <laughs> I he left? I could have sworn. Okay. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Is Bronte working with Cornwall to fuck us? Okay, let's go. Turn us in? Yeah. Shit. I'm gonna kill Bronte anyway. Okay, I'm down with this. If he ends up being our enemy, I bomb ball him with that. Such a bitch. Oh, hello. <laughs> Find anything? Yup. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, what? I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course. And I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank. Maybe. What? And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Hmm. What about Leviticus Cornwall? <laughs> Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> all them folk are so pleased with themselves. I hate when people oh, are happy. society's pigeon shit. Yeah. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Yeah! Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Oh. Hmm. I'm a sneaky. I might have an idea. Assassin's Creed. Let me think on it. He's he's thinking, boys. He's pondering. I I, I don't like the whole football <sighs> situation. Oh, here I am, no longer suited up. Interesting special. Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. Morning. So what's next? Dancing lessons. Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. 
Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Mm -hmm. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One hey. big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. Tahiti. <laughs> but I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Fun. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed, you can hit the subscribe button and wait down there the notification bell so you can notify when I post a new video. I appreciate all the recent support on my silly little gaming expeditions <laughs> if you want to call it that uh, i have a discord i have all these different things you know mm, i used to live stream mm, whatever i love you viewer <laughs> anyway go bye bye